Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for race 18 and 36. We're going to Chicagoland. The halfway point of the season is finally upon us, and I think we're going to a race where I think I'll actually lose points. I know I feel like Saitama, where I just want a challenge. I want some. I want something interesting and eventful. I think we're going to be on that path, or at least from what I saw in practice, that should be the pattern. Because Chicagoland is kind of difficult, so. It'll be interesting to see if Gore can actually gain on me and stuff. So, uh, obviously, paint scheme, little tykes forward. It's a nice scheme, minus the back part of the car not looking right. So, uh, that's really it. Not a whole lot else to look at. So, before we jump into it, thank you, my tier 2 Patreon people, as well as my YouTube member support channel, Persiator Early Access, and videos like this and other stuff, as well as chilling emails for our live stream. So, thank you. I appreciate that a ton. Now, obviously, the background is dark because it's to, to, to fit the mood of my mind at this current moment when playing this game. It'll probably change after this race, but for now, this will be the background. This will be the setting to set in our dinner, dinner table of this season mode. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get into it. Car setup. There is no car setup. It's all default. So that's really the basis of that synopsis. So let's have Amarin and friends take it away. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series comes to Illinois this week for today's race, the Tropicana 400 at the Chicago Land Speedway. Barney, we're still kind of new to this place. What do you think so far? This speedway is a one and a half mile trioval with a wide racing surface and decent banking. That will keep the speeds up and the action very exciting. How about the consistency shown by Sterling Marlin? Man, he is amazing. And what a boost towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top 10 every week. Steve Park must have had problems in qualifying this week. You know, I spoke with the guys from that team in the garage this morning, and they said they tried something a little different in qualifying this week. They learned their lesson, though. Stick with what works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. An impressive average finish record for Kurt Busch. You know, I watched him in practice, and that car just looks good. Sometimes you can just tell by watching the car on the track who's going to be fast on race day without even looking at the speed charts. A great commentary segment. Bill Elliott's on pole. That's also wild. Jeff Gorin nowhere to be found. It's like the the game just wants me to win a championship on like like easy mode. I don't I don't understand. They're really just making it very easy for me. He's on the bottom lane. I saw that. Also, another thing too, I'm not really noticing now is why are we not getting alternate schemes? I saw alternate schemes more in practice races than I have for the actual season mode. So I don't know what that is. Is it just when you first boot up the game? The likelihood of alternate schemes is just more likely? I don't know. I'm trying to understand it. And I still don't understand. <laughs> but yeah, from what I saw, th this it's going to be a nice change of pace. It's not going to be... We're not going to just win this race effortlessly. It is hard to get through the field. It's kind of back to, ba back to basics. Back to how it should be for the most part. Where we're not going to win every race. It's going to be... We're going to probably run around like top 10... Something like that. And like every other track in this game, it's fun to drive. There's really no big complaints on it. Other than Biffle kind of checking up there. But, yeah. Kind of surprised we're not even moving up. Ooh, Biffle. Oh, the stack of... What are we, what are we doing? I, two laps have only gained one spot. That is... That is really alarming. I, I expect to gain a little bit more than this. Can I, I, can I at least pass a little bit more? I like. I, I'm okay with not winning, but I, I still need to, you know, get top 15s. Or well, top 10 would be, would be nice to continue that that streak. But yeah, that was not really the best of starts, and I don't know what really I could have done differently. Now we're moving up. Now we're doing stuff. That's good. I I wanted to see that more. Yeah, Jeff Gordon qualified terribly, so this puts us in a good spot, so we may not even lose that much points. But yeah, it's I don't I don't know what really to say. This is just it's going smoothly now. It's 
for passing people. I just I just have to be careful, hit my marks. Going from this to Thunder Report obviously is always a big difference. Oh my god, the stack up. It was gonna happen eventually. There was like three other stack ups prior to me with Kyle Petty, so the fact that I finally hit them after like four attempts of, of them break checking each other. Um yeah, kind of impressed that it didn't happen sooner. The inside of Kenseth, the same thing could be said with Scott Wimmer. And we're I, I don't know. I'm a little worried because I expected to be a little bit higher up in the field than this. I think the same could be so Jeff Gordon, he's not running very well either. Is Bill Elliott? I don't know who's leading now. I don't think it's Bill Elliott, but we might get a different winner, which will be refreshing, I'm sure, for the fans in the video game world as well as the watchers. I had a weird accent with that. I don't know why that is, but there we go. There, oh, oh, a little, little blocky for Harvick, but we're, we're good. There we go. That's the kind of want. That's the amount of spots I wanted to gain originally, and we're doing that. And everybody's just giving me the bottom lane, which is making my occupation a lot easier to gain spots. Also, why is Jeff Gore in 22nd? And why is he being outrun by Mike Skinner? Unless it's Motegi of 98, uh, I don't really understand that. Ooh, Mike Skinner just hit the wall or something, but that held up Gore in it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wish I could understand. Are we still going to have a, a, a point advantage day? after all this like I don't know how but that's just apparently what is going to happen I don't know what more I can do to to make this harder I'm on default I'm starting in the back unless I literally just make setups that just are like like the worst thing imaginable I guess that's the, like, the only other way but then that's not fun so I I don't know I'm kind of in a damned if you do damned if you don't type of situation but the thing is, oh, something blew up. I don't think it's anyone of, of, of importance. But that, I don't think it's for a spot. That happened behind me. And it is Terry Labonte. Or P16, got a good draft there on the front straightaway. We'll get to the inside of Robbie Gordon. Same thing with Newman. The only thing we can hope for now is, I mean, I plan on pitting on lap 12. So I'm hoping with that little bit of an undercut, we can at least gain some time. Because, uh, yeah, this is, well, we're not really looking great, but compared to Gordon, that's, we're having an amazing race by comparison's sake, so there's that too. Obviously, people have already started to go down Pier Road, which I would like to do, but I think staying out 16 laps probably wouldn't be great for the tires, so next time by will be the Strat. Alrighty, pit stop time, everyone else is going down, same with me. 70, beautiful, four tires and fuel, and then that's it. Sixteen almost just made time, and that's a 15 flat. I truly cannot even complain about that. The picker did exactly what they needed to. A flawless stop. We'll just, you know, merge out on track right away and hope we can gain some time being on the racing surface, but I still don't even think that helps us, so. Now we'll just wait and see where this cycle is at. I'm hoping it's around the top 15, and then we can just sort of race our way back into the top 10 and kind of, you know, salvage the day. I don't know if those cars are a lap down or, or, or maybe they're not, but they are just stacking up everyone. That's a lot of free spots. That's... Wait, a lot of free spots, and that's going to put us into 13th or 12th. Well, 12th we can get by Craven here. Or not. No, there's just, uh, they're on lead laps. So uh, those are a lot more spots that we are going to gain, which is really good. We're actually going to cycle out in pretty good shape. I didn't expect that, but got the leaders pitting, and that's going to put us in the top 10. All right, I'm. I, that's way better than I thought. Or, in fact, 8th place is we're going to have Rusty Wallace leave Piro, but maybe not, but this I, I'm okay with this. Or we might actually cycle out virtual P3. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that after just how far back we were in the race earlier. But I guess that's what happens when you have a good pit crew. Because we always lose time getting in the Piro because the AI could just do inhuman things, but we're actually going to cycle out of this 
what, in third? I mean, they're going to have way better tires than us, so I feel like they're going to eventually drive by me, but... This is... This is acceptable. I, we might get to Rusty, but... I can't believe it. We, we cycled out from, what, 13th to 3rd? Now I guess we're going to see how much spots we'll lose. I'm hoping we can kind of keep it for a top 5 finish or something, but... Right now, this is looking very, very good. Same with Ricky Rudd. He's having a couple of good races, which he desperately needs. I think he was one of the last few people to pit, so... He might be on the good strat side to... Well, I can't say win, but... He has a shot. I don't know. We'll just kind of see what happens. We're just stuck behind Rusty, so I'm not going to get by him, unfortunately. Got to the inside of Rusty here. I didn't think this would even be possible. We were just kind of stuck behind him. Dale Jarrett's slow enough, so maybe he was like one of the first group of cars to pit, so he's on older tires compared to me and Rusty, potentially. This sets us up in a very good spot, because we could kind of, you know, snaggle our way in into the lead. I'm sure that's a word no one was expecting me to use today. But yeah, we're there. I I can't believe it. Again, and in my practice runs, we weren't even close. And we're going to go for the lead? I, sure... I, I mean, we're there. We're not completely clear yet. And now we're in the lead. So now the next plan of operation is just to build up this gap until our tires start to fall off and everyone else behind me starts to run me down. So uh, I'm going to try my best to kind of manage the tires and not squeal them or anything. So all we could do now is just try to build up this gap. And I just can't believe we're leading again. I really didn't expect this. I cannot believe Rusty even got seen inside of me there. That was... Shockingly impressive. But we'll try to cross them over here. We got the draft. Try to pull the inside. Right, now we're just having a quality race battle. I like it. At least we're not just running away. I thought that was going to be the end of it. I was sorely mistaken. But the car is definitely starting to kind of get loose. A little more free. I can't really be as aggressive in the corners as like I used to. So I don't know if we can hang on. But is Rusty Wallace really going to get his third win of the year? Like, what is the... What what reality is this? I don't know, but we're still fighting. We're not giving it up. It's... It's close. Are we going to even lead this lap? Barely. Barely led that lap. And cleared him before we got into one. What a freaking run on the front straightaway. I will take it. Back into lead we go. And I'm going to try my damage to not let him get to the inside of me like he did before. White flags out. Rusty's still there, just one tenth back. We pull him a little bit on the straights. Really, the only thing I've been doing in the corners is just really parking it, just making sure I, I keep it down low. He keeps trying to peek down low off turn two, and I just kind of defensive block that. Now we just go through turn three, take it easy. Oh, he's trying. He's trying the outside. It didn't work. Kind of pushed up the track a little bit. I kind of pushed it too much in that quarter, but it's enough. Somehow, some way, we're going to defeat all the odds and win again. And I just... I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> when does it end? When does the winning end? I did one practice race. In that one practice race, I had like a horrific pit stop. And I, I still ended up getting like fifth. But... Th I don't... Why? This is too much good luck. This is just, it is just too much good fortune. I, I don't know how to, I, it's just, be it's beyond my comprehension. I will say, even though I still won, that was tough. We didn't just cruise away to a win, we got it late in the race, and we even, even when we got the lead, I couldn't just pull away. Rusty gave me a valiant, respectable battle, and that's, I guess, all I can really ask for if I want to win is just have it not be a complete blowout and be sort of close. I guess Daytona was sort of close too, but you kind of expect that, Daytona. But then again, once I got the lead, I was kind of set. But here, I was not completely comfortable. So, And I was on older tires. I really thought the cars behind me would just ram me down, and I, I really wasn't even thinking I was going to be a factor. I mean, for like the first like, two or three laps, I was still in 42nd. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> I really didn't think this would be possible, and we got Night Track, so there you go. That's kind of proof that I've never even won here on this game before. <laughs> At least not in the save file. But yeah, Rusty gets second. Uh, a Valiant run. Mark Martin did dominate, so uh, but he does get a good run in there. Marlin needed a good run. He finally gets it. Kenseth with a good run. Waltrip just 10th. 
and Jeff Gordon just finishes 16th, just a completely midday. Bill Elliott doesn't even lead the first lap. That's how slow he was. And did we even have... We did have one DNF, right? Like, somebody... Yeah, Tara Labonte. Wow. I, I truly don't know what to say about that one. That was... Kind of typical. But it was, like, I had to try a little bit. So, it's not as infuriating. I just can't believe Ricky Rudd also got third. Like, he's making a season comeback. I don't know. Let's look at the points. I want to see what that's going to be like now. Well... My point lead to Gorn continues to grow. Dale Jarrett, 492 back. I think he did gain a bit just because he did finish in the top five. Mark, I think, jumps up to fourth. Newman's back to fifth. Rusty, still ninth. Marlon, still tenth. Rusty with the curse number there. That's that's funny. Bobby Labonte, 11th. Ricky Rudd. Oh, oh Ricky Rudd, he, he takes over 13th. Okay. Benson drops back. Walter moves up. Now, is Ricky Rudd going to reclaim 13th now? Is that... I don't know. It's just... He's had two good runs. Can Marlon ever escape 10th place? <laughs> I don't know. I think he might have gained a spot. Because... Well, Vi is only 9 back. So, and Marlon... I don't know. But either way... I mean, Marlon's kind of a good bit back away from Rusty. So, uh... What, 60 or 54 points? So... I don't know. So that'll be interesting to see how that develops. But as far as lap leads are concerned, for the first time this season, we are leading it by four laps over Rusty, who did lead, like, a lap, I think, in this race. So we, I think we led five. So, yeah, halfway through the season. Well, we're definitely not going to get to 200 laps led based on the averages here. It's, it's kind of estimated we're going to get, like, around 172, possibly. But as far as race wins are concerned, it's pretty damn close to last year. It's not even that big of a difference yet. It, it, by that metric, we're going to get, what, 24 wins by the end of the year? Please, God, don't... I hope that's not the case. Let's go with different paints here. To the uh, Ricky one. Okay, that, that's... All right. And we got New Hampshire, which I've been saying for a long time. That's going to be like a brutal track, but I've been saying that for freaking Pocono. Then we end up having great luck in winning. Coke 600 was that, but then the field checked up, and then we gained spots. So I... I don't even know anymore. Is the, I, I don't know. I, I keep thinking we're going to have a bad race, and then it just doesn't happen, so I don't know. We're going to wrap this part up, though, because um, I've, I've had my thrill of this game for today. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters. Today for our Champ 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Carrier, Mexican Lake 1986, Jason Helmet, and my name is Sean for support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. I do appreciate it. It does go a long ways with everything, so just thank you, as always, for what you guys do. It's just really appreciated. I'll see you all next episode for New Hampshire. Uh, we'll see what that is. If it's going to be like a Vegas situation where we're just going to run 40th, then I will probably do something to this up to make me at least a little bit more competitive. But if we're just, you know, running default and running like end up finishing top, I, don't know, I guess I'll have to see in practice. And I also haven't raced this track in a long time, so I need to get acclimated with it again. I guess we'll see. But yeah, that'll do it for me. See you all next race video episode. See you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.